Hi everyone, we're back with the Shark Navigator Liftaway 0M Model ZU503. We're going to be seeing how well the Shark performs on some pretty dirty carpet. There's a lot of kitty litter over here and everywhere. There's also a decent bit of dirt on the hard floors over there towards the kitchen. But we're going to start off right here where the majority of the dirt is. This thing has a lot of suction, it's sticking to the carpet. Look at that. You can see the dirt coming into the bin. You can see in one forwards and backwards pass, the shark has gotten the carpet significantly softer. And look at all the dirt it has gotten from the kitty litter. The carpet looks significantly softer and cleaner in just one pass. Very impressive job by the shark. Let's continue. Those are excellent groom lines. Look at those. Not quite. The shark seems like a pretty darn good vacuum for its price. I mean, it has the Zero M anti tangle brush roll, it has a sealed system with a HEPA filter. Pretty impressive for its price. The shark definitely sticks to the carpet pretty well. It's actually like legitimately hard to push on this carpet because of how much airflow and suction this machine has. Man, that bin is getting a lot of dirt in it already. I can't remember the last time I vacuumed this room. It hasn't been that long. Few days, maybe. Less than a week, definitely. It's a stain or something right there. So, of course, that's not going to come off. Now, I'm interested to see if the brush roll still spins on hard floors. And it does. The brush roll still spins at low RPM on hard floors. Let's see how well it deals with this dirt. Pulls it in before it even gets to it. So just how much airflow and suction power the shark has. You can hear the airflow off the bottom of the vacuum. This shark has a ton of power.
apples and the crumbs and the dirt and everything. Some of this stuff is stuck to the floor and won't come off, so. Out of cord here. The cord is pretty short. That's one disadvantage of this shark. It's maybe 25 feet, if that. That's fine. This test was mostly for the carpet. Let's see if there's anything back here. And a little bit of kitty litter and dirt back there. So let's see how well the shark performed. Let's see. All right, so the bin detachment mechanism is a little annoying, but learned to live with it. Wow, that's a lot of pet hair considering I vacuumed just a couple days ago. The filter has a small ring of dirt right here, but not much. The bin is a little on the small side, I will say, but that's fine. Let's check the brush roll. Not too small. Completely clean, so the Euro M worked because all that pet hair is in our bin and is not on the brush roll. Very impressed by the shark so far. I'm going to continue using this machine and I might be doing a comparison between this and one of the Bissell Multi Cleans or Surface Sense. I'm not sure which one, but overall, I'm very impressed. Last thing I want to do is just see how much. A ton of airflow. That's a lot of power. Yeah, this is a very powerful shark. So, I hope you enjoyed this video with the shark lift away navigator lift away zero M. CU 503? Yeah. And I'll see you next time.